Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Ali Winters. The title is, If It Goes Against the Word. And this word was posted April 19th of 2020. If ever you read or hear anything from anyone that goes against the word of God, disregard that word and stand on the word of God. For I, the Lord, do not change. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. We must not be as sheep. We have a shepherd, a good shepherd. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. He has given us his word and his spirit to guide us in the way he would have us to go. We must not listen to those whose voices contradict his truth, regardless of who speaks, how loud the message, how it tickles our ears or tugs at our heart. If it goes against the word, but how are we to know if it goes against the word? Can we be sure? Study to show thyself proved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God. How can a young man, woman, teenager, senior citizen, the young, the old, how can they keep their way pure? By guarding it according to the word. Be cautious as you navigate the ever-growing troubled waters of nations steeped in deception, discord, division, lies, and lunacy. Be vigilant in prayer regarding words spoken by watchman, prophet, priest, pope, preacher, politician, or president. Learn to learn on the Master. Learn to cling to Jehovah Elohim. In days ahead we will need much discernment, godly wisdom, knowledge, strength, and God's truth to be our guide. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them, there is great reward. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Ask him into your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And from then on, have a relationship with him. Talk to him every single day and read his word. You all have a great day and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.